A diehard fan gets stranded on a beach with her rock star idol. When she realizes they're just miles away from civilization, she must choose between doing the right thing or taking her chance at love. Jenny Taylor celebrates her birthday in a Jason Masters concert courtesy of her best friend, Ryan Howell. Being a huge fan of Jason, she thanks Ryan for the best birthday gift ever. Another diehard fan, Alexis Minetti, passes by and makes fun of their cheap seats, but Jenny refuses to let her ruin her time. Her favorite song starts, and Jenny Crowd serves her way to the stage. Alexis sees this and does the same, so they race to get to Jason first. However, Alexis pushes Jenny, so she reaches Jason instead. Alexis hugs Jason tightly and takes the shirt he took off, gloating at Jenny while he sings to her before security whisks her away. The next day, Jenny rants about what happened to her mom as she packs for her summer job in the Caribbean. She wonders about missing the chance for love, so her mother suggests dating her best friend, Ryan. However, Jenny sees him more like a brother. Her parents talk about their Indonesia trip over breakfast. While raving about being in nature's belly, her father accidentally cuts himself. Jenny quickly tends to his wound as her dad panics, though he comments what a great doctor Jenny will be. Ryan arrives to fetch Jenny, who goes to gather her things. He then awkwardly inquires if it's okay with Jenny's father that they'll be roommates, but the man brushes this off. Ryan is the last guy he'd be worried about with his daughter and is actually on board if they get together. Soon, the two arrive at the resort but see that Alexis is also there for the summer job program. She warns Jenny to stay out of her way if Jason comes since it's his favorite resort. Afterward, the resort manager, Mr. Hernandez, leads the best friends to their quarters and assigns Jenny to lifeguard duty and Ryan to a floating status, which means he works whatever role needs a filler. The next day, they start working. Ryan is on waiter duty and meets Chase, who approaches him to talk about girls. Confident about his romancing skills, the guy proceeds to hit on a guest with a distasteful line, but earns a slap on the face instead. In the pool, a drowning boy cries out, so Jenny hurriedly swims to save him and performs CPR. However, the kid is only pretending to be unconscious to get close to the pretty girl, so Jenny pulls back and chokes him instead. After the kid runs off, Ryan warns his friend not to hurt the guests. Walking her back to her post, Ryan awkwardly asks her to hang out that night. Jenny agrees after telling him to be more assertive. The kid from earlier slips for real this time, and when Jenny sees that he's okay, she gives him a light slap and leaves. Chase notices Jenny's charm and Ryan quickly warns that she's off limits. That night, Jenny and Ryan watch a show at the resort. Upon seeing a couple there, Jenny wonders if it's too much to ask for the same for her love life. Ryan takes this chance to confess to her, but he gets cut off when Jenny is whisked to the stage. The next day, they enjoy different water activities around the resort. While resting by the beach, they share a moment when they playfully fall on top of each other. Jenny pulls back and quickly leaves, noticing the change in the atmosphere. By the resort entrance, Jason Masters' entourage arrives. Mr. Hernandez welcomes them, but he's dismissed by Jason's road manager, Milo. Meanwhile, Jenny is on her lifeguard post when Alexis flaunts that she's been promoted to head lifeguard. As her first order, she gives Jenny an additional shift. Annoyed, Jenny leaves her post as Ryan comes over. To console her, he informs her that Jason Masters has arrived. She rushes to reception and finds Jason stressed by his chaotic entourage. She runs to him but slips right in front of him. Jason helps her up and calls her beautiful, making Jenny dazzled even after the rock star is led away to his suite. In the villa, Jason is crowded by his busy team. Exasperated, he groans and jumps into the pool. Elsewhere in the resort, Jenny tells Ryan that she felt a connection during her interaction with Jason. Ryan infers that if she wants to take her shot, she needs to do it quickly since Jason's only there for a layover and will join a private cruise that night before leaving. With that in mind, Jenny sneaks into the cruise that evening and sees an already drunk Jason on the side of the boat. As the captain tries to steer away from a tropical depression, Jenny follows Jason to the lower deck. When the boat catches a big wave, Jason, who's on the edge to throw up, falls overboard. Jenny screams for help, but the music is too loud for anyone to hear. With no choice, she throws a life raft into the water and jumps in to save Jason. They get on the raft, but the boat is already too far away for them to call for help. At the port, the boat is evacuated due to the worsening storm. After realizing that Jason is missing, Milo demands a search for him, but they need to call and wait for the Coast Guard to do so. The next day, the two wake up stranded at sea. Jason panics, but Jenny is too engrossed with her idol beside her. She starts asking questions about his songs, and Jason snaps at her for ignoring their current problem. Despite this, she comments that he still looks great, which appeases the rock star. Suddenly, something moves in the water, and Jason freaks out. Luckily, it's just a dolphin. Meanwhile, in the employee quarters, Ryan wakes up and realizes that Jenny is missing. After floating aimlessly for a while, Jason finally sees land. He urges Jenny to paddle, but she's more interested in asking about his love life. After he snaps at her again, she finally helps out until they eventually reach the shore. 
Jason hops onto the beach but immediately hurts his ankle. His companion checks his foot and with Jason's girlish screams of pain, she concludes that his ankle is broken. She tells him not to worry as he's still manly in her eyes. She volunteers to look for help, walking away still without an inch of worry. After walking around, she finds nothing, so she reports that they're stuck on a deserted island. In the resort, Ryan asks Chase if he's seen Jenny, so he recounts that he saw her sneaking in on the cruise last night. Nearby, they overhear the news about Jason's disappearance, and it's reported that he was with Jenny. The Coast Guard concludes that since there was a life raft missing on the boat, it's likely that Jenny and Jason used it, so their chances of survival are high. On the island, Jason suggests they go back on the raft, but they can't navigate at sea. They try to send out a flare, but Jenny holds it the wrong way, causing it to fly toward their raft, thus deflating and effectively burning it. Elsewhere, Jason's team is badgered by the press about his disappearance, while Ryan tries to contact Jenny's parents, but they're unreachable. Stuck on the island, Jenny makes use of the resources to survive. The injured Jason sits nearby, watching her try to get food to no avail. Jason thinks they're going to starve to death, but Jenny assures him that people are searching for him. He then notices how masterfully she wrapped his injured foot, so Jenny proudly shares her plans to attend med school after summer. However, she asks him not to tell anyone since she thinks guys don't like smart girls. On the contrary, Jason thinks beauty should come with the brains for it, so he concludes that he prefers smart girls like Jenny. Jenny blushes, then excuses herself to look for food again. In her next search, she finds a nest with eggs up a tree. She tries to reach for it but slips into the stream. The current takes her downstream and she finds herself miraculously back in one of the nature pools of the resort. Starving, she grabs a tray of food nearby and scrapes it down. She notices the newspaper reporting Jason's disappearance, so she hurriedly returns to him to report the good news. It takes her a while to return to the beach, which is apparently on the other side of the island. As she's about to say the good news, Jason hugs her as he was worried that something happened to her. Overwhelmed by his attention, she ends up not saying anything, leaving Jason to believe they're still stranded on a faraway island. She leaves to get supplies for her and Jason, though she notices how her photo is also included in the newspapers. With that, she buys sunglasses and a hat to hide her identity. They build a shelter and Jenny fakes starting a fire from scratch with the lighter she bought. She also provides Jason with seafood and fruit, claiming to have gotten them from the ocean and the jungle when she actually just bought them from the store. In the evening, Jason expresses his relief to finally have some quiet time to think, so he thanks Jenny for taking care of him. While having breakfast the next morning, Jason notices Jenny all dolled up. She excuses that she got berries to adorn her lips and her styled hair is thanks to her genetics. Suddenly, two windsurfers appear on the lagoon, so Jenny distracts Jason with weird bird names to excuse the sound the surfers are making. Meanwhile, Mr. Hernandez confronts Milo back at the resort, as the record label isn't paying for their expenses while Jason is missing. With no choice, they are moved out of the large suite. Soon, Jenny can't afford to buy supplies anymore, so she goes to the employees' quarters and gets some money. However, she pauses on her way out, unable to resist a fresh shower. Just as she exits the shower, Ryan arrives. He quickly hugs her in relief even though she hasn't covered up. To explain what happened to her, Jenny later takes him to the beach. Realizing that his friend is tricking the rock star, Ryan thinks her actions are crazy. She explains that being lost makes Jason see her for who she is. She claims that there's something special between her and Jason, so Ryan, who could never seem to say no to her, helps her even though he thinks this is still kidnapping. Soon, he starts buying supplies for them, but Alexis notices his suspicious items. When he drops off the supplies for Jenny to pick up later, Alexis follows him and sees Jason with her rifle. Ryan quickly pulls her aside and explains Jenny's plan, pleading to Alexis not to say anything. However, this gives Alexis an idea. Later, with their now useless raft floating back to the open sea, Jenny feeds Jason a banana, claiming it has medical properties when she actually just crushed painkillers on it for his injured ankle. They hear someone call for help and find Alexis pretending to be shipwrecked too. With a French accent, she clings to Jason helplessly as he comes to her rescue. Jenny is then put aside as Jason cares for the new castaway, who's charming her way to his heart. A competition to win over Jason ensues. They take turns catching larger and larger fish that actually just came from the resort. When Jenny questions Alexis's French accent, the woman puts dirt in her drink which becomes lodged in her teeth, thus grossing Jason out. Jenny retaliates by buying a fart machine and using it on Alexis at night, making Jason face away in disgust. The next day, Alexis puts ants in Jenny's hair, blaming it on her poor hygiene. Angered, Jenny lunges at her, and a girl fight follows while Jason merely watches, amused. At her wit's end with Alexis, Jenny decides to talk to Jason. Seeing her worried, he assures her that despite entertaining Alexis, Jenny's the one he really likes. This leads them to almost kiss, but Alexis breaks them up in a panic and Jenny sees why. A man on horseback is nearby, so they ask Jason to sink to distract him. 
He obliges and they cheer to keep his attention until the man has gone. At the resort, Ryan asks Chase for advice about confessing to his best friend. Chase shares that confidence is the key, and when the other guy hesitates about this, he badges him into saying that he's the man. Using Chase's advice, Ryan meets up with Jenny later, wearing a puka shell necklace and attempting to talk coolly. Jenny laughs and thinks he's trying to impersonate someone. She then rambles about Jason's confession earlier, and this disheartens Ryan. Unable to listen further, he leaves while Jenny stares, confused. Before completely driving away, he stops and walks back to Jenny to kiss her. He finally confesses, but Jenny asserts that they're just friends. With his heart broken, Ryan decides to go home. The next day, authorities find the broken raft at sea, leading them to believe that the two might not have survived. While in disguise at the store to get supplies, Jenny finds the news reporting how the world is already mourning for Jason. This finally convinces her to tell the truth. She returns to the beach and tells Jason that she had fallen in love with him as a fan before they even met. If given time to know her feelings, she thought that he'd reciprocate her feelings. She finally reveals the truth despite Alexis's protests. She points to a boat speeding by, and immediately, Jason calls for help. Jenny adds that the resort is just through the jungle, and Jason is pissed about the betrayal. He then gets onto the boat, threatening the two women with lawsuits. Alexis chases after him, claiming that she's innocent. However, she inadvertently loses her fake French accent, blowing her act, so Jason also abandons her. After Alexis storms off into the jungle, Jenny stays on the beach, deep in thought as the weather worsens. In the resort, everyone prepares for the incoming hurricane. Ryan is about to leave the resort but ends up stuck since the airports are closed. He sees the news about the storm about to hit the other side of the island, so he takes a truck to find Jenny, sure that she's still there. As she's desperately navigating through the jungle, Jenny's sash is blown off by the wind. Ryan spots the sash on a tree, so he goes on foot to search for his friend. Soon, however, Jenny sees Ryan's truck and gets in. A tree falls on the vehicle, causing it to slip down the muddy trail and trap Jenny inside. The two call for each other amidst the storm, until Ryan finds Jenny and carries her out through the truck's window before the vehicle falls onto the stream. They find shelter in a cave, and Ryan builds a fire to keep them warm. Jenny looks meaningfully at her best friend who saved her life as if seeing him in a new light. With the storm still raging outside, the two spend the night keeping each other close. Morning comes, and the resort is in shambles in the aftermath of the hurricane. Jason finally arrives and saves Milo from becoming jobless from losing his big star. He reveals what happened to him, so Milo thinks of a press narrative that will save their careers. Later, Ryan and Jenny are stopped on their way back to their quarters by Jason's team. Jason tells Jenny that he still likes her and needs her help to make things right, as they want to sell a love story between them to the press. Realizing their plan, Ryan barges in and confesses his love for Jenny. Before she can even respond, one of Jason's bodyguards whisks Ryan away. Soon, Jason speaks to the press, claiming that he jumped into the water to save a girl and used the skills to survive on a deserted island. Jenny stands on the side, perplexed at Jason for taking credit for all the work she did while they were stranded. Before he can introduce the woman he was with, Alexis emerges from the crowd, urging him to continue as she hints at revealing what really happened. This leaves Jason stammering, so Jenny swoops in and announces that Alexis was Jason's companion. This makes Alexis stop, as Jenny is handing her the attention that she wants while getting both her and Jason out of their predicaments. Jenny continues that her name was only included in the reports to hide Jason and Alexis's romance. She solidifies the alibi by telling everyone that her real boyfriend is Ryan. Jason begrudgingly rides the alibi as Alexis slips her arm around his, already in character. Meanwhile, Jenny approaches Ryan at the back of the crowd, smiling as she responds to his feelings. They kiss and spend the remainder of the summer job as a couple. Sometime after, Jason carries on with the lie and marries Alexis, who's enjoying the spotlight during his concerts, much to the rock star's annoyance. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.